Court. This is Jenny. Good morning, Jenny. Um, I'm wondering if, if your office, the Circuit Court of Pulaski County, has a designated form that you guys use for public records request, or if I can just go ahead and write it up myself. If you have a case in Pulaski County, all you have to do is submit whatever you're wanting in writing. I'm sorry, could you repeat that first part? If, <clears throat> if you have a case in Pulaski County, you can file a request in writing whatever you're needing. Do I have to have a case in Pulaski County? Uh, it depends on what kind of records you're wanting. Oh, I was kind of looking more into uh, proof of educational training credits and some stuff like that. I guess I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the current court circumstances are. So I'll probably be requesting dockets and schedules and employment finance records and stuff like that. I, you know, I just kind of want to see what the current court circumstances are. Okay, sir, you need to put all that in writing and it would have to go to LaPorte County because that's where your case is at. No, 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 ma'am. See, I don't know what you're talking about with LaPorte County or my case. I'm actually, I have some public records requests in regards to just the general public agency of the Pulaski Circuit Court and most of the public officials that work in there, including elected ones, like maybe the judge of that court. Just a moment. It has nothing to do with LaPorte County or any case okay. specifically. Hang on, just a moment. I'm looking for just training and qualification certifications. Moment. Okay, so you would need to put in writing whatever your request is, and you would need to file it in the appropriate place. And I cannot tell you where that. Right, and I don't, I don't, I don't debate either one of those things. What I'm asking is if your office has a very specific form that you utilize for this, or if I just need to type up the information and put it in writing. I don't yes, debate I anything do. that you've just told me. What I'm wondering is if you have a very specific form, because if you do have a specific form, I have to use that form. But if you don't, I can use the state approved form, or I can sort of just draw up the information in writing base myself. So that's all I want to know is yes or no if you guys have a, a, a designated form that would say something like uh, Pulaski County. Are you, let me talk? are you are you hearing my are question you yet? Here's your answer. You need to put your request in writing and we will take whatever form of writing you get it to, to wherever it needs to go. So the, the simple answer would be no you do not have a designated form that I would be required to use. I just need to follow the basic guidelines in APRA, which I already knew. So the answer is okay. no, right? Would the answer be no, you don't have a designated form? We, whatever you want to submit in writing. Okay, it's a simple yes or no question. Do you have a designated form? I've answered your question. No, you're dancing around my question. It's, it requires a yes or no. That's the kind of question that it is. It's that specific. So do you have a designated form? Yes or no? You just need to put your request right. I, that writing. would be legal advice that you're giving me there, ma'am. I'm asking for a yes or no. Just put it in writing, sir. That's all I'm telling you to do. Right. I know that. What I'm trying to figure out is if you have a designated form that I need to put it in writing on or not. Just put your request in writing, sir. So is that a yes or a no? Do you have a designated form that's specifically for public records for Pulaski County or Pulaski Circuit Court? Yes or no? Just put your request in writing, sir. That's all I'm going to May do. I have your name? I think I told you my name when I answered the phone. It's Jenny. 
heavy. Okay. And Jenny, do you have a supervisor? My judge. Okay. So you work directly for the judge. Would that make you the court administrator? So as the court administrator for Pulaski County, Jenny, you are seemingly unaware if there is a designated form for this? There's no local rules reference form, sir. No, no, no. This, isn't, this wouldn't be covered by local rules. That, that covers the, the criminal and civil procedure process inside of the courtroom. I'm actually referring to the Access to Public Records Act, which would be Indiana Code 5-14-3. That's what governs what I'm talking about, the public records that are held by your court. So what I'm wondering, again, yes or no, simple question, do you have a designated form that you would hand somebody if they came in there in person and wanted to do a public records request? The answer seems to be no, but you don't want to say that, and I'm very curious as to why. So if you don't have a direct yes or no answer that would allow me to hang up this call, my next thing would be I would request to speak with your supervisor, Jenny. I'm not allowed to speak with your supervisor? My supervisor is the judge. I've already informed you of that. Okay. Is there a reason why I wouldn't be able to speak to the judge about a public records request? That you're... Well, you tried speaking to her earlier, and you wouldn't let her speak, if I recall correctly. You seem to be in referencing a different phone call that has absolutely nothing to do with this entirely. Would that be correct, Jenny? So whether or not I do have cases in LaPorte County or in Pulaski County is pretty much irrelevant because the Public Records Act applies to that office just the same. I could have 100 felonies and I could have zero and Indiana Code 5-14-3 would still apply to that public agency as well as the Indiana Access to Court Public Records rules that just went into effect January 1st. So, is there a reason why I can, cannot speak to your supervisor? Since we've clarified what this, what this issue is. Like I just said, sir, the Public Records Act will tell you if the forms exist. No, 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 ma'am. The Public Records Act tells me that if your specific public agency has a designated form, I am to use it. And if not, there is another option. So, basically, that's all I need from you is a simple yes or no. Why this has taken seven minutes and 53 seconds is amazing. So why don't you want to answer the question and why won't you let me talk to your supervisor? There are no local rules reference to forms. I will do that twice. Right. I'm not referring to local rules referencing forms. I'm referring to a very specific state act known as the Access to Public Records Act and Indiana Court Access to Public Records. So... Again, this isn't something where the Pulaski County local rules would apply. So, yes or no, do you have a designated form? Like I instructed you? I would appreciate if you don't instruct me or legally advise me any further, ma'am, because I'd probably have to file some sort of complaint for you practicing law unauthorized like. If you could just ample answer my simple yes or no question about whether or not you have Do you see that designated form? Matter of fact, how about this? Can I get a copy of your designated form? It says we have no local rules reference to form. Jesus fucking Christ. I apologize, ma'am, but I'm just really frustrated with the density that, that, that you seem to be displaying here. Like, Jesus.